So going on this one, um, I'm gonna uh, show an example. So I've created some slides on these four key pillars of questions um, that I've, I want you guys to ask yourself, and that's essentially who are you, so as a person, what are your personal values, what are your strengths, and what do you want to achieve in, in 2022? So um, around, it, it's similar to goal setting in the sense that we want to make sure we've got specific goals um, to where we want to head, um, but it's also around getting a better understanding of yourself and your values uh, and how important it is to have that self-awareness. So for me, a little bit about me, I grew up in Melbourne. Um, father actually played for uh, some games for Collingwood and Melbourne Football Club. Uh, and then um, the McLean side of those are all painters. Mum's side of the family uh, are printers. So business is definitely something that I'm used to growing up. And then write down your strengths. So for me, it's as a coach, but for you guys it would be as a footballer, I'd imagine. Um, but you can do it as your career if you want. Um, and write down the, the key three things that you feel uh, are strengths for you. So for me, the big part of my career was spending my apprenticeship at Box Hill Hawks and Hawthorne Football Club, where I was at for five years. And then you'll have your professional values or your football values. So as a, as a player in, in amongst the team, what are your football values? So for me, people first approach, um, make sure I don't see people as their, maybe their role in the team. Like if I see, the, let's say a physio's name is Ben, I don't see him as a physio first, see them as the person first, I see him as Ben and understand his whole picture. Uh, same with the athletes, so make sure the, the athletes that I work with, I'm not seeing them only as the footballer, but the whole person. 